Toby Dynavox is excited to bring you the new Aphasia pages as part of the Snapcore First 1.10 release. These pages contain evidence-based tools to support communication for people with aphasia. The aphasia pages were developed through testing by people with aphasia, through research, and through clinical observation. The aphasia pages provide a collection of tools designed to support communication in daily life. Some tools, like the whiteboard and the rating scales, will be familiar and can easily be implemented right away. Through this video series, you will learn about these tools and more and how they can be used to support speech and help communication when speech is difficult. In this video, I want to highlight some of the overall features of the aphasia pages. First, this is a support for adults. The symbols and topics were selected with the person with aphasia in mind. Second, this is a user-friendly AAC solution, even if you are less familiar with technology. You'll notice blank buttons throughout the aphasia pages to encourage adding personal content whenever possible. We encourage you to customize topics and quick fires as well as word lists and more. Third, many people with aphasia have trouble attending to the right side of their visual field. Therefore, we avoided putting frequently used content on the right side of each page. As seen here in word lists, and here in visual scenes. Lastly, there are three grid sizes offered in the aphasia pages for Snapcore First. To access these grid sizes, select Edit, Page Set, then grid size. These sizes were included based on feedback from clinicians in the field and user testing. We know that people with aphasia do best with clean and simple designs, and these grid sizes provide the necessary tools and content without too much added complexity. Once you select the grid size that's right for you, you're ready to get started by selecting Done. Be sure to explore more videos to learn about each tool and how you can customize it to support communication interactions with people with aphasia.